naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Part of why I'm doing this PSA is because no one wants to be walking down a gorgeous trail like this and then all of a sudden out of the corner of your eye you see a little flash of unnatural white and sure enough someone's decided to just take a pooper off the side of the trail and we don't need that. You can take a poop off the side of the trail but there's proper ways to take care of it. And look how close they are to the creek. Just two strikes. At least. I, I, we're up here at Big Pine Creek and I thought we'd take the opportunity to do a little poop in the woods PSA video. Because the last couple days we've just been noticing so much poop and teepee and stuff on the side of the trail. So I just wanted to do my part. And this, this is okay because this is an animal. <laughs> They're allowed to poop on the trail or wherever. But for humans, um, I like to, you want to find out where you are know where the trail is, know if you're at a junction so you don't get any surprises. And um, there's lots of different techniques, but the main thing we want to do is you want to get that defecation underground. So if you got a good boot or if you don't, you can use a stick and you want to get a good six to eight inch deep hole. And here I'm in the duff. So you can see it's pretty easy. And depending on how pressing the moment is for you, <laughs> but try to get it deep. And so I'll demonstrate with this animal species. We'll just get this up into my hole so you don't have to watch me demonstrate. But I will demonstrate with my shorts on. As I've got older, I found it's easier just to whip my pants off and then I'm free and I can just squat, enjoy the view and take care of business. When I was younger and more flexible and didn't want to take my pants off, I'd try one of these like three point stances. So that's why I'd like to find a log or a, a branch. And so once you've defecated and you've wiped up, I brought some tissue. So you wipe yourself, do your business, and then you get it down in the hole. Now in the past, they were recommending you light your toilet paper on fire so it just leaves ash. On the trail crew in Yosemite, one of our park service people, who I will not name, went off the trail, took a dump, and he was using the old school bear lighting your tissue on fire and then burying it. And so we're working on a trail about 50 yards away from where he went. And we look up and there's a fire in the underbrush. And what had happened, even though there wasn't a flame, the embers from his teepee had just been smoldering under all this duff. And in about a half an hour, it caused the fire. So my recommendation is don't use fire. If you're in the desert, that's one thing, but not in the woods. And so what I'll usually do is I'll get a stick and I'll, I'll actually push my, this defecation is hard, but when it's soft, I just push my teepee into it to get it all in there. And then if I have to pee, I'll pee on the toilet paper and you'll see it gets it all nice and melded down in there. And then you just cover it up with your duff easy peasy no one has to see it and we're good to go so how to poop in the woods growing now if you don't happen to have tp there's alternates you can use as you can see we're here in the high country and we don't have a lot of big broad leaves like you get in the tropics and you'd be really hard pressed using these alder leaves or that aspen wouldn't be too bad but here we have a lovely Jeffrey pine cone and look at how it will get into all those nooks and crannies and hard to reach places. I want to caution you though, you must use Jeffrey, not ponderosas. The little jingle go when you pick up a pine cone, Pondero ponderosas prick you and Jeffrey say howdy. This one's saying howdy, so just 
nice smooth ride and then if you're really into it those of you who grew up using corn cobs for toilet paper here's a squirrel nod pine cone and look how soft that is for your tush for if you have special needs how to free yourself in the woods